Well, they get more done before other kids their age are even getting up every day. Stuart Hall has more in today's 4-H Spotlight. This 4-H Spotlight is brought to you by Memorial Park Cemetery. Proud to be a supporter of our area youth and neighbor of the Allen County Fairgrounds. I used to come out here, ride the rides every day, and then the next two years after that, I became a 4-H kid and I got a new basically perspective of what fair was. For the 2024 Allen County Horse Queen, Elena Smith, that perspective starts bright and early in the morning in the barn with her horse Cherokee. We wake up 6.30 every morning and then we get up here. We make sure that they're all good and fed. We say our good mornings and then we have to go get him water and food, which is just a hay bale and like four or five flakes of hay and then we get the water and then we got to pick out their stalls and if it's show day we go straight into show day. <laughs> the early mornings at the fair have been Brooklyn Morales life for seven years yet she's still not used to the 530 wake up call to take care of her horse Bubba. No it, it's still tiring. I still wake up tired, look tired, act tired. So is it a good kind of tired, though, at the end of the day? Oh, it's tiring, but it teaches you self-discipline, and it teaches you how responsibility works. Like, you wouldn't get it from just going and doing other things. Besides responsibility, Morales says she has gained another important thing from 4-H. Basically gain a family by it. So, like, 4-H, it becomes a second family. So, it's like you deal with all the little kids. They all run up to you. First thing they do, good morning. At night, last thing they do is always a good night. They all have to get their hugs morning and night. They see you out in the ferry work just walking. They have to acknowledge you. They have to run up, hug you. It's just like gaining like a whole big family. For your 4-H Spotlight, I'm Stuart Hall. Your News Now. Thank you, Stuart. Well, 